For added convenience, athletes and coaches can calculate pace, time, or distance. First, select a distance in the dropdown, or you can add a custom distance. Let's say you have an athlete who just ran 26.30 for four miles. Here you can calculate their pace. Next, let's calculate time. Let's say you have an athlete who wants to average six minutes per mile for a 5K. Next, let's calculate distance. Let's say your coach has you running two hours this weekend at your easy pace, which is roughly 8.30 a mile. Here you can calculate the expected distance of your run, 14.12 miles. The most commonly used feature on the VDOT calculator is the training paces tab. Leverage decades of research to individualize your training based on the science behind VDOT. Here's how it works. Let's say you just ran a 23.45 5K. Enter your time, then click Calculate and navigate to the Training tab. Here you can review exactly what paces you need to train at, and we provided extra distances on this page to make it convenient to plan your workouts, whether you're running Ks, 1200s, 600s, or 300s. VDOT formula helps individualize your training paces and also equates performances across distances. For instance, if you just ran 46.30 for 10K, you can calculate then navigate to the Equivalent tab to see the equivalent performances. Keep in mind, these aren't predictions. They are the physiological equivalent performances. This can be helpful to set goals, measure how well you perform at certain distances, and adjust training accordingly. It's also a fun way to assess your best running performance overall or compare against friends. Click the Advanced button to adapt training paces for hot conditions or convert results from altitude to sea level. Here's how it works. First enter a performance that represents your current fitness. Now add the temperature you expect to train at. Calculate, then navigate to the training tab. This shows the adjusted target paces while anticipating these conditions. This tool goes both ways. For instance, by clicking the reverse icon, you can convert a result and see how much faster you would have run in ideal conditions. If you ran 4630 and 80 degrees, the conversion in ideal temperature is 44.59. Before you take advantage of this tool, it's important you understand the purpose of each training type. Navigate to More to access our training definitions. Here you can review how to incorporate each pace into your training. For instance, threshold training can be done as tempo runs or cruise intervals. The intensity is generally 88 to 92 percent of your heart rate max. Sample workouts include 3x1 mile with 1 minute rest or 20 minutes steady with some warm up and cool down running before and afterwards. Remember, training at the right paces is important, but so is the duration you spend working at each intensity. Always consult with a coach or refer to Daniel's running formula for more information on planning workouts.